Welcome everyone. Today I wanted to talk about the Cardano Effect podcast episode 37. I saw a comment below that said something to the effect that they, they were disappointed that the David Esser question was not responded to in a better manner or that the team behind or David Esser himself or the communication team hasn't been fulfilling their promises, whether that be through live AMAs, uh, answering questions from the community or product demonstrations. And I want to speak on this because as a stakeholder in ADA, as an investor, as an outsider looking in who wants the best for the project, obviously IOHK is not my company, so I'm only speaking from a person who maybe has some input, whether or not it's useful or not, that's uh, debatable. But I wanted to talk about the roadmap and what I think could be done in lieu of the roadmap that's that, that has been released. Um, I, I think that the visualization is great. I think the roadmap is great. But as a stakeholder in ADA, um, I want a different way of measuring the benchmarks or measuring the success of the Cardano project. I think a more effective way of displaying the information would be through a growth plan. And I'm not sure how long IOHK will continue working on this project, whether or not they will be their contract will be renewed after they fulfill their obligations. But growth plans are usually three years out. So in three years is always the magic number for businesses because it's the it's that turnaround number. So it, it allows investors, it allows the actual business owners to know exactly what they've done over those past three years and whether or not their business model is sustainable for the next five, 10, 20 years. This growth plan can be broken down into the acronym SMART. So S stands for specific goals. So the goals need to be very specific over the next three years. Um, M stands for measurable. So they have to be able to be measured, um, not necessarily through a progress bar, but saying that I am going to release this product and this product actually releases. Actionable, so actionable for the Cardano standpoint, would be things that could be actually doable in the next three years. So I know IOHK has said that Cardano is going to be quantum resistant, but and quantum computing will won't affect Cardano. But is that an is that an actionable goal for the next three years? I don't think so. I think that's probably longer term. So actionable could be. Staking needs to be released. Smart contracts need to be released. This, 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 and this, and this. It needs to be more scalable. Uh, the TPS needs to increase. All that stuff that's actionable. And R is relevant. So it needs to be relevant to cryptocurrency and blockchain in total. It, has, it needs to be relevant to blockchain and cryptocurrency as a whole. The projects that IOHK decides to work on for Cardano need to be relevant to increase or try its best to provide as much value for ADA so that can ultimately increase stakeholders' positions and stakeholders' investments. So um, relevant could be something like partnerships. So Emergo, IOHK, Cardano Foundation, creating partnerships with certain companies that may not add value to ADA or may just be superfluous. It's it's a waste. So maybe the 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 actionable relevant things to do would be to have targeted goals or targeted partnerships with targeted companies or targeted industries in order to bring value to the project. Um, something like tapering the number of conferences that Cardano attends and making sure that every single conference that Cardano attends, it's something that's going to value add. I, I notice a lot in my industry um, when people go to trade shows and people go to certain networking events, after a while, they have diminutive effects and making sure that you're going to the right ones and not just going to everything is very important. Um, I can give you some kind of example. If you sell, um, let's, let's, let's keep it easy. Uh, if you sell some kind of health supplement, there's no reason why you need to be at a toy trade show or in, you don't need to be at an auto show. You need to be in an industry-specific show. And cryptocurrency, there's a blanket. There's so many different events, but a lot of them are bogus. So making sure that we don't go to the bogus events, I think that's important. 
because I think Cardano has reached that level where it's a A tier project and not all these conferences are A tier conferences. Those con we can leapfrog those conferences. And then T, it has to be time-based. So everything within this three-year period, there needs to be some kind of timeline. So staking is supposed to release at the end of the year, so it would be a four or five, four or five month timeline. Smart contracts needs to be maybe a six to nine month timeline. This timeline would allow stakeholders to have greater assurity that things are going to happen within the time period. And if there are slight delays, there are slight delays. They need to be communicated. But I think it's also apparently it's, it's important to provide accurate deliverables to the stakeholders or to the, the customers that are investing in your product. So this way, if you have this timeline, this timeline, this timeline saying, we're going to release all of this within this given t period of time, people will feel more comfortable. We're talking about institutional money right now. And institutional money wants to see... I'm going to get this done by this. 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 It's all about forecasting and people are not going to invest if they don't feel like the products are going to come back. One of the real reasons why I think that Tesla blew up in the way it did is because Elon would provide these timelines. We're going to build all these different Teslas by this date. All of his timelines were wrong. All of his deadlines were wrong. But it still garnered a lot of interest in the project and people speculated on that. So that's maybe important. Not to give wrong deadlines, of course, but to provide the shareholders with some kind of semblance of this is going to come this, this is going to come soon, this is going to come soon, and not just soon, within a few months or within six months. And it goes back to my example with the Daedalus wallet website that was that I looked at the Wayback Machine over a year ago, and it said Bitcoin and Ethereum are coming soon. So it still says coming soon. So that's been a year and a half. So we need to make sure that maybe when we put stuff forward that it has some kind of deadline or say, you know, within the next three years or within the next five years, this will come. This way people know what to look forward to. And I think it would make money feel safer investing within the project. And these are just healthy criticisms. Uh, let me know what you think about this, this smart plan, just making sure that everything is, is um, specific, measurable, actionable, relevant, and time-based, and releasing more of a growth plan rather than a, um, a, a, a roadmap. Um, and once again, the roadmap is great, but I think that certain goals need to be expounded on and certain things need to be communicated better. Let me know what you think. And thank you to that commenter on the Cardano Effect podcast, episode 37. Thanks for listening.